I'm here today to give you your healthy bite and learn about healthy sleeping. Today we have Dr. Hopkins. Hi, my name is Bobby Hopkins for the Johns Hopkins All Children's Sleep Center. Dr. Hopkins, I'm curious about sleeping. Why is sleep good for teens? Sleep is really important for teens because it's actually how our bodies repair itself. So like to prevent infections and to make sure that any exercise we do during the day, it rebuilds our muscles. Mm -hmm. But it also is good because it helps our brains to work better so that we can focus better. It helps to prevent mood problems so you're not, you don't feel maybe as nervous or maybe as sad. Um, and it, it helps our bodies just to function overall better. Yeah. How many hours of sleep should teens be getting? Excellent question. The average teen needs 9.2 hours of sleep. So somewhere between nine to 10 hours. There's mm -hmm. going to be some teens that might need a little bit less and some teens that need a little bit more, but the majority of teenagers need between nine to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges for getting nine to 10 hours of sleep? So for teenagers, it's really challenging to get that much sleep because of school start times. A lot of schools are starting really early. Mm -hmm. um, it's challenging because of homework. Sometimes um, kids have to go to work. Sometimes they have a lot of extracurricular activities. Maybe they're on a sports team or they're in the theater or something and that's taking up time. Mm -hmm. And then also teens have a, a shift in their circadian rhythm called delayed sleep phase, which means that it's hard for them to go to bed earlier and then they have to wake up for the early school start time. What's delayed sleep phase? Delayed sleep phase is when a teenager's biological clock or their circadian rhythm is shifted a bit. It actually starts around 13 years of age and goes into the early 20s, but it just means that they, they can't go to sleep early, they stay up later, and then they also wanna sleep a lot later. Yeah. How is delayed sleep phase treated? So the way in which you can treat delayed sleep phase is by just keeping your wake up time pretty standard and always counting back then nine hours to get your bedtime. Electronics really make it so that you have to stay up a little bit later. Um, that can affect your bedtime. And then when people take naps, that can also affect your bedtime. So you wanna get rid of those. So what about screen time? Screen time really interrupts a person's ability to go to sleep. And it does that in two ways. First, just the light from the screen can impact the release of melatonin. Melatonin is a, a chemical that helps to make us feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. So when you have the screens, it prevents our melatonin release and then the pe people end up staying up later because of that. Mm -hmm. The other problem with screens, particularly if you have to use your fingers, is that it releases dopamine and that's an alerting chemical that keeps you awake. Yeah. How is sleep related to eating? Studies have shown that if a person doesn't get enough sleep, they're more likely to choose foods that aren't as healthy and then to eat later at night. What about caffeine? The problem with caffeine is that it actually keeps a person awake. And some people will say that, oh, well, I can have caffeine, but we've also seen that there's some people that really just even the tiniest bit keeps a person awake. So even if they have caffeine in the morning, it might affect their ability to go to sleep at night. Dr. Hopkins, I learned a lot today. What are your three tips of having a good night's sleep? First, you need to have a really consistent bedtime and consistent wake up time mm -hmm. and hold those steady even on the week weekends, okay? Second, we try to get rid of electronics by at least an hour before bed if we mm -hmm. can. And then third, if you've done everything right, and there's no more caffeine and you're going to bed on time and there's no electronics and you're still having trouble sleeping, you probably should go see a sleep specialist. Okay. Thank you for joining us for today's Healthy Bites. Stay tuned for more.